The good old ute is as Australian as meat pies, and just like a 4 and 20, hay haulers are hot right now, with the Toyota Hilux and Ford Ranger battling it out as the two most popular new cars so far this year. Their modern mix of car-like comfort and conveniences, up-to-date safety and flexibility make them a popular crossover vehicle for work, play and the family. But a key duty of these utes is towing, so let's find out how well they do it. We are testing the Ford Ranger XLT, Holden Colorado Z71, Toyota Hilux SR5 and the Volkswagen Amarok Highline V6. Some of these utes can tow up to 3,500 kilos, so we've borrowed an excavator that weighs in at 1,700 kilos. In theory, it should be an easy task for all of our utes. The roads we chose to test on today were single lane country roads, maximum of 80 kilometers per hour, lots of bumps and hills, really good to test the stability of the cars and how they handle towing the weight. The weight itself, well, it was the excavator, it weighed over 1,700 kilos, and it's really good because it's kind of gangly and moves around, which really shifts the weight of the car. So great to be able to test the stability of the utes under that sort of pressure. The Holden has the second most powerful engine here with 147 kilowatts and 500 newton meters of torque, which made towing up the steep hill we chose an easy task. The engine never felt stressed in getting the job done and we didn't need to mash the accelerator into the floor up the hill, which left us some extra acceleration up our sleeves. Well, the Colorado's torquey engine made it the second quickest in the 0 to 60 challenge. As for the chassis, Look, it didn't do anything wrong to be honest, it just behaved as you would expect. It felt nice and solid on the road, no complaints really. The Ranger's five cylinder has 147 kilowatts and 470 newton meters of torque. It's extremely smooth and refined for a diesel. While it has better numbers on paper, the Ranger's performance was not superior in the real world. On the steep hills, it felt no better than the Toyota, and it didn't handle the situation as well as we thought it would. The Ranger is also the heaviest vehicle here, which doesn't help its cause. Now the Ranger coped with the weight and pulled it no problems at all, but in comparison to the other three, it moved around a lot in the rear, and over bumps it had a bigger seesaw effect with the weight on the back. The rear took a lot longer to recover in bumps and dips, and it had a little bit of lateral movement too, which was really noticeable compared to the other three. As for the motor, well, the Ranger's no slouch, none of them are, but in a bit of a surprise, it was equal slowest with the Toyota. With six cylinders and 165 kilowatts, the Amarok was always going to eat the hills for breakfast. As the most powerful in its class, it's a cracker of an engine, smoother and quieter than the others, and with plenty of power in reserve. Well, I guess it's no surprise that the whopping 550 newton meters of torque made the Volkswagen Amarok the quickest in our 0 to 60 towing challenge. And it wasn't just by a little bit, it was by a lot. As for the chassis, well, no complaints to be honest, although I would say it didn't do the job quite as well as some of the others. The Toyota has the least powerful engine of the bunch with 130 kilowatts and 450 newton meters of torque. Though it has smaller outputs than its rivals, the numbers don't tell the whole story. The Toyota performed well, in part because it's the lightest ute here. We did have the accelerator flat to the floor at times, but the engine didn't feel strained up the steep hills and the Hilux maintained its speed, never leaving us in doubt. I feel it's fared the best out of all of the utes. Yep, that excavator certainly moves it around a bit, but nowhere near like the other utes. It's felt the most stable and secure the whole time. As for our 0 to 60 test, well, it came in equal slowest with the Ford Ranger. And that's nothing to be upset about, that's for sure. And in saying that, both of those vehicles are towing this load no problem at all. It may sound like a cliche, but all these utes are hugely capable towing vehicles. The Amarok definitely has the gun engine, but it was the Hilux that left us feeling the most confident with its better on-road manners.